So I want to show you here the superimpose X, which I would say it could be used kind of like um, Procreate in the difference of Procreate, of course, is a painting app that uses brushes. But this superimpose is more of a collage composite kind of uh, app, which is just $4.99. But it can create so many awesome things, as you can see here. It can do all kinds of effects. What I like a lot in my creations is mix things. I don't want to just do things in Procreate. I want to maybe create an uh, effect in some app and bring to Procreate to help to create that thing. So as you have an iPad, you have uh, many options for you. So don't be um, just tied to one thing. So I like to maybe create an effect on a photo on an app, bring to Procreate, play with brushes, or you can do a whole collage and composite just with this app. So we are studying here, um, grabbing the uh, project here. I'm gonna uh, choose a square and I had to do a voiceover because when I enter edit, the voice recording didn't go all the way. So, um, so you have the basis of the comments there. So when we go to layer, then you can see I go to that plus sign and I'm going to go to files and um, actually that picture is from a photo uh, that I added in the app that I'm not even going to say the name because it doesn't exist anymore on the app store. The app still works for me, but the app vanished and Unfortunately, sometimes with apps, this happens, you know, and but I would do a similar tutorial how to do this kind of painted looks with photos um, with some other apps that are right, you know, out there right now. So when you click on that plus sign there, then you can um, add a layer. And uh, that's what I did there. I brought the picture and then when we click on photos and you go to files that's when you can get things from uh, from in my case here I'm using a, a driver um, uh, iPad a mini driver attached to my iPad so when you go down the plus also you can go to adjustments and and that's where you see um, adjustment layers and you can use um, blend modes and I'm gonna show that later um, not blend modes uh, effects but right now I'm showing that if you click on the effects you can see all the kind of photo effects that you can have and change the color of the pictures um, and all that kind of stuff so here I went to add a picture and then went to files and I'm going with my products here and I'm going to use my um, acrylic textures uh, papers which are a very uh, set of painted uh, look looking acrylics from my real paintings and um, you're gonna see that there I'm gonna bring it up and I'm gonna bring that there. And then when you bring it, you see that I'm putting underneath. So what I have there is something that it didn't work as I wanted. So I'm gonna um, get rid of that real soon. But you know, as you see the poster right there. But what I did basically was just to get that picture and put a blend mode. And we're going to uh, have a position to see many times how the blend mode works and if you go to layers then you're going to see a little icon called blend and then you can see all the blend modes so what I did here I blend mode in overlay then I duplicated and um, because I wanted to be a little bit stronger so and I reduced 50% the, uh, the layer there. So that's what I did. And um, I'm gonna mask just the edges a little bit uh, on both of the pictures because they both have the same edges, of course. So that's what I'm doing. You, if you go to mask and then, you know, um, mask tools, then you see all the options for brushing or select or, or this kind of things. 
so um, that's what I'm doing there just brushing the edges unfortunately there's no way you can see um, the tip of the iPad in this case but I think next time I'll show the whole iPad so you can see the pencil when I'm using again this app so I'm gonna insert now um, a paper no what I'm setting now I forgot Oh, I'm setting a transfer, which is my um, building's transfers, and I'm going to insert that. And basically, I'm just, you know, putting it down on the layer panel, and if you go to transform, then you can move it and um, playing with the blend modes and so as you can see now, um, pretty much it is what we are using here because it is a little different basically you can do whatever you create in Photoshop to create digital square booking or or our journal you basically here work in layers and you um, excuse the dog and blend modes to kind of do this overlay and layers and, and depth in the project so pretty much that's what I'm doing here I'm playing with the blend modes and you know picking up more elements from my mixed media pieces and from my transfers and this gesso and it's from the mi mixed media pieces and i'm gonna use word art that is from my new collection um art journal builder so um that's pretty much what we do here um what i doing here also putting the glows the lights so sometimes a layout and a composite you can just play on ipad and be done you can take it just through the photoshop app you know you know do some balance and things like that or you can also export this as a psg take to your computer and finish on the ipad so there's many possibilities but i just wanted to show that if you want to create a whole layout with this app it is possible and you can create a beautiful uh, artsy page here. So we're going to do more playing with this app. Again, this app is called Superimpose X. It's uh, for now at 2024 is $4.99 in the Apple Store. So let me know in the comments if you have used this app before, if you knew about this app, and I would love to know. Thank you.